That was so cool. Lovely. Here we go. One, two, three. What? It actually charged? And that is how you make homemade ice cream. It's better than any ice cream I've ever tasted. Have you ever wondered what to do when you're bored? Well, today, we're gonna be showing you guys some really cool and fun things you can do when you're bored. So, we know a lot of you guys have been watching TV because you're bored, and right here, we have a really cool hack you can try with your TV. It's actually a really fun interaction, kind of like in our last video. So, yeah, let's just show you guys what it is. So, I figured out a way how to get Tom Hiddleston's Loki's attention from the Avengers. Uh, he doesn't want money. I'll show you guys what he wants. He wants toilet paper and hand sanitizer. And I know a lot of you guys also want toilet paper, so what we're doing right now is we are giving all of this toilet paper away to you guys. All you have to do to win this toilet paper is subscribe, turn on our post notifications, and comment down done when you're done. And we're gonna be picking out a lucky winner in next week's video. But back to this task, it's one of those really cool things that you can practice with the timing. With a few tries, you should be able to get it perfect. One of the things I like to do when I'm bored is to eat. So you're always bored, because you're always eating. No, I'm not always eating. But this video that we have right here is gonna show you guys exactly how to make your own ice cream. So you just add two cups of heavy whipping cream into a huge bowl. Then you pour the entire can of condensed milk into that same bowl. Then you just stir it around with a whisk. Like I'm not sure what it is. And then if you want a different flavor, you can add cocoa powder, you can turn it into like a chocolate ice cream, or you can leave it regular if you like vanilla ice cream. And once that's done, you leave it in the freezer for about an hour to two hours, and then after that, you have your homemade ice cream. Okay, so we have our heavy whipping cream right here, and, and the condensed milk. Step one, we're gonna be pouring two cups of heavy whipping cream into this huge bowl right here. That is two cups right there. And now, we're gonna be pouring the entire can of heavy condensed milk in here. Oh, that looks so good. He is nasty. Ah, oh, you're weird. Ah, oh, this is so good, huh? All right, and now we have our good old whisk and we're just gonna mix it up. All right, so you wanna stir it around in a circular motion like that until it becomes a substance kind of like whipped cream. This is actually really fun. This is fun. I never thought making your own ice cream would be like this interesting. Look at that. Ooh. And just like that, it is ready. So now we're gonna add, this is optional, but so right here is basically like vanilla ice cream. We're gonna make it into Oreo chocolate chip ice cream. Ice cream and this is how you do it right here we got our chocolate chip cookies right here and our Oreos so we're gonna break these into tiny pieces and now we're gonna mix it together with our magical whisk so we're just gonna gently stir it around like this look at that do you guys have no idea how good this smells it's pretty evenly blended now we have the final step this is optional but if you want it to freeze quicker so you can eat your ice cream quicker we got two smaller bowls that we're gonna put it in so it freezes quicker so it becomes ice cream Oh, there we go. <laughs> he is nasty. This is good. Oh. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in a freezer and let it freeze. And um, yeah, I can't wait to check up on the result of it. It's been about two hours and uh, I think our ice cream is finally ready. Oh, this one's mine. Look at this. You can see the Oreos. You can see a little bit of the cookies. Here we okay. go. All right. Oh, look at that scoop. Oh, oh my. Oh my gosh, this is better than any ice cream that I've ever bought before. I know a lot of people exaggerate, but I am not exaggerating. This is actually the perfect amount of sweetness, perfect amount of like softness, not too cold. It's literally perfect. This is the best ice cream I've ever tasted. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. If you're short on bras or sports bras, but you happen to have a brother who has a lot of boxers, then this hack right here is perfect for you. Okay, so basically you just take a pair of underwear, fold it in half, Cut the corner off, and then you turn it upside down, and there you have a sports bra. And now you can work out. And, and you can actually good. store your phone in there too. That's really cool. So it's an extra, it's a pocket bra. Can't beat that. Okay, so like we mentioned, you're just gonna need some underwear, and then you're gonna need some scissors to cut the boxers. So the first step is you gotta fold the underwear in half like this right here. And after you fold it in half, you're gonna wanna cut this part off like this. Okay, so there's already a line right here that shows you where you're supposed to cut it at. Here we go. So far, so good. There we go, mine is off now. Now that this part is off right here, we're gonna flip it around and uh, this is apparently how you're supposed to wear it. It's like this. How do you even wear it? Let's put it on. Okay, so as you guys can see, this does work. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about this, but it does come with a pocket, so. I think, yeah, mine came with a pocket too. Hold on. And how many sports bras come with pockets? Look at that. Nothing's gonna happen, you're like running. Here we go, phone call right here. Hello? 
All right, bye. So as you guys can tell, it works very, very well. I'd highly recommend trying it, wouldn't you, Alan? You know what, we should market this because you can put your phone in here. So why don't we patent this and start, w would you guys buy this if we, yeah. uh, we came out with this? Like Stokes Twins, uh, Stokes Bras? <laughs> So for this hack right here, all you're gonna need is some paint, some paint brushes, and a bowl filled with water. Apparently, if you stick it in, you just do two different colors at once. That is so cool! Oh my gosh! Wait, does that actually work? Okay, so we have our bowl here filled with some water. We have our paint right here, and we have our paint brushes right here. And the first colors that we're gonna be trying is red and blue. So let's uh, let's get some colors going. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the paint in here. And now let me go ahead and do the other color. There we go. Should be enough. Righty. Okay. There All right. We go. There we that go. Looks like it's so I'm gonna record him putting the brushes inside of the water in slow motion off of my other phone. All right. So the trick is to get the brush kind of wet so we have this cup right here before I dunk it in here for the cool effect. So here we go. Three, two, and one. That actually worked! Is was that? Oh my I god! That, Wait, that was cool! Alright, so the next two colors we're gonna be trying is yellow and green. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, two and one. one. Cool. Was that actually? That was cool! Oh my gosh! Alright, so the last two colors we're gonna try are orange and purple. Three, two, and one. Okay, so the results are gonna be posted to our Instagrams. Okay, I'm totally kidding, guys. But the actual results are gonna be right here. Here we go. This is definitely one of the coolest hacks we've ever tried before. I would 100% recommend trying this one. Very easy to do, yet very, very cool looking results. So if you like to draw, then this hack is perfect for you. This is a very creative hack, and all you need is a Sharpie, a plate, and some water. And yeah, let's see it. So you can draw like a stick figure or whatever you want, and if you pour water onto the Expo marker drawing, then apparently it's just gonna like float, float around. around. That is so cool. It almost looks fake, but it's so like, it's like animated. I don't know, we don't know how to draw, so how is this gonna work? They drew stick figures, that's perfect for us. Okay, so we have our Expo markers here, a bowl, and some water, and uh, let's get drawing, Alan. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna draw as a stick figure human. I'm gonna try to draw him but as like a stick figure. Okay, here we go. Alright, here's the head right here. Body, and there's the arms right there, and that's good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour into water slowly right here like this, and um, hopefully it works. Oh wait, it's it's working. It's kind of working. It's like dancing a little bit. Oh my gosh, I know you see it. It's moving around. Whoa. Alex! That looks so good, doesn't what the it? Heck? What? That's actually kind of cool. How does that even happen? I didn't know that could work. I want to draw a spider. Here, let me draw one. So I just got done drawing two spiders. Um, hopefully they're both going to float spiders around. Spiders have eight legs. They do? Okay, here we go. <gasps> it's moving. A bit. Wait a second, it's moving a little bit. That's so creepy and cool. Wait, should we add more water? What the oh heck? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at it. It's twerking. It's twerking. <laughs> Look at it, it's twerking, that's so... <gasps> They're Look. fighting. This one was super simple and super fun, so 10 for 10 would recommend if you're bored. All right, so for this next hack, we're gonna be showing you guys how to put on a talent show for your family. You're just gonna need um, a helium balloon here, and uh, just let me show you guys what's about to happen. Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. Okay, whoa, 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 wait, wait, okay, okay, hold on. Okay, wait, let's both sing it, okay? Lonely. That's definitely how they made this song. They just, someone just sucked into a helium balloon and just sang those verses. If your phone ever dies and you don't have an outlet to plug your phone into, then this hack is perfect for you. All you're gonna need is some apples, two quarters, and apparently if you do this, it should charge your phone. So let's check it out. So you just rub the two apples together, and poke holes big enough to fit the quarters in, then do it to the other apple, connect it, then plug the charger in, plug in your phone, it should charge. Does that work? Well, we're about to go find out. Okay, so we have the two apples right here, the two quarters, and the charger, and uh, the phone right here that you broke, Alan. Uh, what did you use my phone, dude? Come on, calm down. Are buy stop. me one? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, so step one, you rub the apples together like this. You gotta create like some kind of electrical friction, and that's what simulates like the electron fields inside the apple. And these 
joints are gonna act as conductors for the Apple, which will allow us to get a little bit of juice to charge into our phone. Okay, so you're gonna wanna put the coins in right here like this. There we go. And now you wanna stick it on the other side. There we go. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna take this Apple right here and connect the two coins right here like this. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's connected. Now that the cords are connected, I'm gonna be plugging it into the side of the Apple like this. There we go. And now I'm going to be charging my phone right here. Here we go. One, two, three. What? It actually charged? What? Wait, you're joking me. What? Wait, 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 wait. It might stop charging in a few seconds. Cause I feel like this will only work for a few seconds. No, it's still charging. It is actually still charging. 79% and it's been charging. What? Is that why it's called an Apple iPhone? Because it uses an Apple to charge it. Okay, so earlier that was a joke guys. Obviously it doesn't work. Uh, that would be cool if it did. It would be cool. But like, even if it did, I feel like it would only work for like a few seconds. Since you guys like the TV illusion hack so much, we have another TV illusion hack for you guys right here. So basically, you're gonna wanna take the mouse. Oh, look at that, it's moving. Like, oh and you my take God. the mouse from there, hit the subscribe, and then the notifications. Oh, wow, look at that perfectly timed illusion hack.